Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So what you are looking at here is Hutchison Sample 3, uh, which I shared on 20th of December 2017. And it is a wonderful sample. It's quite similar to uh, the fracture sample we've done a lot of discussion about. Uh, you can see here that it's kind of like fractured there, but it's it's still quite solid. Um, yeah, you know, the fractured pieces have joined together. Uh, but th this particular sample is actually better for explaining about what I want to talk about today. So I'm just going to show you a, a little clip of it moving around, but you can go and have a look at the actual video. Uh, it's uh, uh, in. It will be in the link uh, in the description to this uh, video. Uh, but as you can see, there are these splices, these kind of splinters of aluminium uh, that have kind of rearranged themselves. Uh, and then after the, the field was shut down, they kind of all kind of fused back together. And what's happening is, uh, in the material and on the surface, there's exotic vacuum objects that are churning the material around. So, and particularly at the grain boundaries, uh, um, Ken Shoulders talked about uh, any impedance change, these things will kind of like appear and then they'll start to grow. And uh, so they eat the grain boundaries and then um, the, the pieces will uh, then s separate. Uh, but if there's an exotic vacuum object in there uh, and it gets larger and larger and larger, um, it is extremely magnetic, like this uh, uh, toroid of... Uh, God. <laughs> These are so dangerous, I broke one earlier today. Um, uh, this ND52 magnet here. I just want to describe a, a principle. So in some of John Hutchison's materials, uh, there were um, pieces that came apart and uh, a number of modes of them coming apart uh, would be uh, like literally going blip, and uh, there was a, a north pole here and a north pole here. So what's actually happened is in the material, a small Evo has grown over here and another small Evo has grown over here. And as, uh, as they've got their field strengths have got bigger and bigger and bigger, they've come closer together until uh, the yield strength of the material, whatever it is, can't handle it. And it just goes blink and fires apart. And I'm going to use this um, little demonstrator here to uh, show what I'm talking about. So essentially what I've got is I've got a uh, steel rod here. Uh, it's got a grub screw at the end there, which is uh, uh, magnetic. If I can focus on this, maybe, there we go. So, uh, but effectively I've got a north pole here and an, uh, sorry, uh, a north pole here and a north pole here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push them together and uh, comes back. It's probably better if I do it the other way. So essentially what I'm modeling here is uh, two Evos that were in a Hutchison sample. And uh, they, one of them or both of them are growing, uh, growing, they're being pumped. And at some point, or well, they're pumping themselves, and at some point they get too big uh, so big that the metal in between the two doesn't have enough strength to hold them together and they just go like that. So it just goes like that. <laughs> Fires off. <Boop. laughs> so essentially, uh, that's that kind of splitting. Now this is where it becomes a little bit interesting. Um, oh god, I'm going to keep those apart. Um, now, the other type of splitting that you got uh, was where they moved to the side. So the way I'm going to demonstrate this is by putting two on the table and just, uh, you know, showing uh, what, what happens there. So this should be fairly simple. So I've got my, let's, let's use the other one. Uh, maybe it's a, so we've got two exotic vacuums. Is it going to be, a, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> so that's my last demonstration. So um, maybe th th this, these two are better. Okay, so. Uh, these two uh, are going to be my demonstration and so what happens is they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, uh, like this uh, like this and they either push apart like that or they can go to the side uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to do it in one hand uh, you can you can actually get them to fly off to the side so basically there's that and then also um, there's sometimes uh, and as you can see here there's, there's pieces that have come here uh, and torn themselves away and then they've kind of like rotated round and then bonded themselves back on bearing in mind that this started off as aluminium and so I'm going to do this here and it's going to might be quite painful 
Okay, so you can imagine what's happened there is the piece broke away. It broke away and then it re entered itself on a different angle. So in that case, it just bound onto the end. So, oh dear. I think you get the idea, basically. So we've got one Evo growing this way. And we've got one Evo growing that way. And so just go like that. Right, so there we go. So and then it's reoriented itself. And there was a, let's say there was another piece that reoriented itself in the middle. So you end up with this kind of environment here. And, and then there's loads of Evos on the surface, as, as I've showed you um, in other videos and they churn the material and they kind of bind it together and then when the, the the whole charge is lost from the system you end up with something that's actually physically held together uh, uh, in, in a good way. Now what you will have seen actually at the same time in what I've just demonstrated there is, is a twisting action and so this is what we see in uh, the coral twist uh, sample. Um, so uh, in this sample uh, it's basically uh, some Evos have grown in there and th th they've tried to orient, set, orient themselves uh, and it's caused the, uh, the actual metal to twist around. Uh, where's, where's the lens? Let's try and get this in focus. Focus. Oh dear. There we go. So it's twisted it around like that. So there you go. So um, in Hutchison samples, you will have seen... Uh, in fact, there's, there's, there's a range of samples in this video. You can go and have a look at it in your own time. As I say, the link will be in the, that's the, the fracture sample. Uh, and that's a mushy one. Uh, this is another one a bit like the coral sample. That's our coral sample. Uh, this, this is a piece of steel that similarly uh, has uh, twisted around. And interestingly, you can see the triangles in there. This is a, a very important shape. Uh, so in the actual area in which it uh, sort of got disrupted, it uh, has the triangles in there, which are very, very relevant, and I will talk about in greater detail. Um, in some other videos that I published this same day, there's this particular shape which forms uh, both... Uh, in many Lena uh, experiments and so forth and it, it's on the <laughs> area that's um, affected on this so uh, we know that this was done with Hutchison uh, technology so um, so that's it so basically I just wanted to explain the observations of uh, John Hutchison uh, with uh, metal splitting and fracturing and coming apart. So the modes are like this. So, so you, in fact, you've got you obviously got ones which join together. So you've got a magnet over here, magnet over here. When they get so strong, they go like that and pull together. You've got other ones where the the, the poles are uh, north and north, and they push apart. Uh, and they're, they're pulling apart as the field strength is growing. The field sort of boundary comes together and it's pushing against each other, pushing against each other until whatever the metal is, it'll just rip apart. And then if you've got like two uh, discs like this and the, the fields are slightly off, it'll then tear to the side. So all of these things you will have seen in John Hutchison's work and, and pretty much everything is in here. And I like this particularly because it started off as aluminium, which as we know is not magnetic ordinarily. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I will probably put something at the end of this video, uh, which I think is relevant, uh, showing the north-north uh, poles, south-south poles, where, say, a spanner or whatever split, showing north-north, south-south uh, on, on the set section. So uh, you know very well that if you take a normal bar magnet and you cut it in half, it'll still have a north. If this has a north and a south, if this is my bar magnet, and I cut it in half, you should uh, have a north and a south here and a north and a south here. And if you cut this one in half, you'll have a north and a south and a north and a south. But in material affected by Hutchison samples, uh, quite often the, the pieces that separated ended up by having a north and a north or a south and a south pole. And this is why. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.